This month, Austin celebrated six years as a no-kill city. And now lawmakers are looking into a bill that would make it easier for shelters to care for pets without a license. The bill, which will be filed today, would also open the door for the no-kill movement across other cities in the state. KXAN's Judy Barnett is live for us at the state capitol with your details. Good morning. Good morning, Sally. Lawmakers who wrote this bill say the state's current laws are simply old and out of touch when it comes to the no-kill direction that many shelters want to take in the state. They say that vets and volunteers uh, have a different role at those no-kill shelters than they do at traditional shelters, and many times their hands are tied when it comes to giving an animal the immediate uh, medical attention that it needs. So a few years ago, the state's veterinarian board uh, almost shut down the no-kill movement. The group ruled that the shelters needed to have ownership of an animal for a number of days before volunteers could give medical attention to a pet. Well, without proper medical attention, that made many animals vulnerable to euthanization. It passed. This bill gets rid of all that and allows shelters like Austin Pets Alive to give care to animals without the pet owner's permission. Austin Senator Kirk Watson and Representative Eddie Rodriguez wrote the bill, and they say this bill makes it, makes it seem that the state wants more of them. Rodriguez says sometimes shelters are discouraged from taking on the no-kill title because the process of handling animals at those shelters is much more complex. Now, if you have a city like Austin and other cities that are wanting to do no kill, there's, it's a longer process, right? You're gonna have you know, the number of veterinarians you might have and what their roles are there are different. Uh, what individual volunteers might be able to do in a situation where you're trying to rescue an animal, trying to adopt an animal out is different. So it's time to change laws. Rodriguez says many other states or cities rather across the state want to uh, take on these no kill shelters. One of those cities is just down the road, San Antonio. Back to you, Sally. Okay.